Thank you for joining me today to further explore ulcer diagnosis and treatment. I will be demonstrating how you can use a few simple acupuncture points to detect ulcers, then prescribe a treatment plan, and finally repalpate the same points in about 20 days. Two great things about being able to palpate these points on your horse are, first, you can tell when ulcers, hindgut acidosis, or digestive issues are a problem, and second, you will be able to tell if the medication or preventative supplementation that you are using is actually working. I will stress, you should perform the palpation test before a meal after your horse has been fasting. This will give you the most accurate results. This is Belle. She's a two-year-old mare who recently began training in Western Pleasure. Her trainer feels she probably has an ulcer due to the stress of being under saddle, as well as having been treated with antibiotics for strangles about a month ago. This is Beamer. He's a four-year-old quarter horse gelding who is a rainer. His owner suspects he may have ulcers due to his rigorous training and showing schedule. I'm working on the left for this video. However, horses can have a different reaction on the opposite side. First, I will palpate acupuncture points that are not associated with the digestive tract to gauge how reactive she is normally. Now, to begin the diagnostic process, I will apply five pounds of pressure at pericardium one, just behind the elbow. This is the first point that will get painful when a horse is suffering from digestive issues. You see how she twitches and steps away from me? That is a mild reaction for a horse suffering from stomach ulcers. You see how he twitches? He moves away from me and he turns to face me. That's a common reaction with a horse that's moderately sensitive on pericardium one. The second point is on the sternum about a hand width back from the front leg called conception vessel 17. When a horse is sensitive here, they will raise their back, pin their ears, turn to bite, and even try to kick you. Now you see how she stepped back and raised her back that again is a mild reaction for a horse that has digestive issues. You see how he completely avoids that point. He wants to move away from me. He lifts his back even before I've palpated it. He's very sensitive on conception vessel 17. As a horse's pain level progresses due to worsening GI issues, they will get sensitive at bladder 42. This is a point where the shoulder blade meets the rib cage. Now, she has very little reaction here, so that means that she is just mildly affected by ulcers. When a horse has advanced stages of ulcers or hindgut acidosis, they will often show sensitivity where the withers becomes the back. They may drop their back or act like they're trying to shake off a fly. She shows no reaction. He's very sensitive on this point. The last place that I'll palpate on a horse when I'm evaluating for ulcers is over the entire low back. She has very little sensitivity here. You see how he reacts? He's sensitive over this entire area. When a horse is sensitive over their low back, it means that he is struggling with hindgut acidosis. I will recommend that Belle be treated for 10 days with the compounded omeprazole paste. On day five, she should start the all natural daily digestive supplement. I will also ask that a feed change be made, reducing carbohydrate and sugar intake. Increasing the fiber that she eats by feeding grass pellets, beet pulp, 
and or rice bran will help to prevent ulcers from reoccurring following treatment. I will recommend treating Beamer for 15 days with a compounded omeprazole paste combined with a very powerful hindgut treatment ingredient. It is important to note that acid reducing drugs like omeprazole and ranitidine will only treat stomach ulcers. They will not heal hindgut acidosis or ulceration. At day five, the owner should start him on an all natural daily digestive supplement to help treat and prevent ulcers. Today I will follow up with both Bell and Beamer's ulcer treatment. It has been 18 days since the palpation and the start of the omeprazole paste. The daily digestive supplement was added 13 days ago. I will palpate the same points so you can see the difference with treatment. As you can see, she's totally ignoring me. So she's much better on all of her ulcer points. I would recommend that they keep her on the daily digestive health supplement. He is much more comfortable throughout his entire body. He will perform better without having to worry about the negative painful side effects of ulcers. I recommend that both horses stay on a daily digestive health supplement. The nutraceuticals that provide the most benefit are aloe vera, slippery elm, psyllium, ginger root, peppermint, marshmallow root, and pre and probiotics. The combination of these ingredients work extremely well together in both the stomach and the hindgut. I will also prescribe the omeprazole paste for times of high stress like travel and competition. For a more in-depth look at this palpation technique, I encourage you to watch my first video titled Equine Ulcer Diagnosis on the DePaulo Equine Concepts YouTube channel. You can find more information on ulcers and proper nutrition in the health library on my website. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about ulcer palpation and treatment.